<laughs> but just because I didn't look like I was going through some stuff, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I was considered bougie. Amen. But it just reminded me that I didn't have to look like Amen. what I was going through. She didn't know that I had just lost my house to foreclosure. Mm -hmm. She didn't know that I was traveling up and down the road taking care of my sick mother. She didn't know that I had just filed bankruptcy. She didn't know. She didn't know that that job that I had that was teaching her was the only job that was paying for food on my table. She didn't know. So if that's what bougie look like, then I guess I'm bougie. <laughs> to get rid of. Joseph was no longer the, the slave that didn't have a life of his own. Joseph was no longer the prisoner that was falsely accused. Joseph instead was now royalty. Joseph instead was now a father to Pharaoh. Joseph instead now was the ruler over all of Egypt. When God gets through you won't be what you've been through. When Joseph's brothers encountered him, they expected him to be bitter. They expected him to have an attitude. They probably didn't expect for him to get far in life. They expected him to give up. Now, I don't know how many of you are Joseph, and I don't know how many of you are Joseph's brothers. But understand this. No matter what the situation is, when God ordains it, 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 you shall be royalty. So for those of you that may have played ahead like Joseph Brothers, thank you for helping me get to where I am now. And for those of you that are Joseph, thank God for the brothers. Because had it not been for him being thrown into that pit, had it not been for him being sold into slavery, had it not been for him going into prison, he wouldn't be in the past. So understand this, that when God gets through, they won't recognize you. How many of you want to be unrecognizable this morning? In essence, he was all these things, but guess what he was even more than anything else? Mm -hmm. Joseph, in essence, were his brother's savior. Mm -hmm. Because he said it himself, God sent me mm -hmm. ahead of you to save a remnant yes. that I may save you. Yes. Understand what I'm saying right now. Joseph was sent ahead of them yes. to be their savior. Mm -hmm. Joseph was beaten, in slavery, mistreated, lied on, lied to, so that he can be their savior. Hmm. Uh -huh. Who does that sound like? I know a man 2,000 years ago that they did the same thing to. They lied on him. They beat him. They hung him on a cross. But guess what? He defeated death and the grave. And on the third day, he arose so that he can be our savior. Who does want to serve a God? Thought everybody else lied on him. Thought everybody else discounted him. Thought everybody treated him like he was nothing. He was our savior. So I said all that to say this. Don't discount what people look like because you don't know what God is going to do with them. Don't discount what people are going through because you don't know the end result of what God has for them. Even for yourself. I don't know what issues you're facing this morning. I don't have to know what you're going through. But when God gets through with you, they won't even recognize you. All you have to do is give it to God. I 